Okay, we're showing my uh, charging system for my outdoor storage system container here. Got a 100 watt solar panel up on the roof there. And then inside Inside, we, whoops, I got junk. That's what it is, a storage container, right? That's why I got stuff in here. Inside we have a 12 volt car battery. Not sure how good the battery is, but I think it's okay. I've got screw on connectors up there. And I've got a charge controller, solar charge controller. It's, uh, let me see. Okay. Shows 14.4. I'll tell you the truth, I don't understand all of what I'm seeing. But anyway, it's, I think it's regulated a little bit less than that, actually at the battery. But anyway, we've got these two guys here charging the battery. And these come from the solar panel. And we've got uh, a wire here coming from up here and a ground coming from over here, that wire. Those two wires are coming down, the green one's coming to here, the red one's coming to here, that's inside my little 12 volt distribution panel. And uh, from there, I've got 110 volt light switch. <laughs> hey, it doesn't know how many volts it is. It's got more than enough capacity, but it runs to little LED lights that are enough for what I'm going to do in here, just storage. Just see what I'm doing when I'm in here for a few minutes at a time. So actually, more than enough battery for that job. And in addition to running those two lights, this system is charging a battery on the four-wheeler because I don't use it a whole lot. And if I have a spare battery, which I don't have one in there now, but it'll charge that. I've got, uh, oh, my, there's other things that will have batteries in it in the winter time, sitting in here. And that little guy will have a wire going from, from that distribution panel to whatever battery I want to charge. And I'm considering putting a power inverter connecting it to the battery and mounting it right there in that spot on the wall. Haven't got that done obviously, but if I put an inverter there then I'll have 110 volt power out here. A little bit. It won't last long because my 100 watt solar panel won't charge that battery as fast as I'm using it. So the only thing I've got power for is whatever that battery has and then the, ba the solar panel will got to charge it back up again. But I think it'll do for what I'm needing, needing to be quite sufficient.